Hello, this is Commander Hugh Jardon here. Welcome to another one of my Elite Dangerous walkthrough videos. This is another one about mining, and in particular, has uh, mining in the hazardous resource extraction site. And it's aimed at sort of people that maybe have just dabbled in mining or at the beginning of their mining careers. So it's probably you, you probably want to do is just do a little bit of mining somewhere else first before trying this so you just got the hang of other things because um, there's a little bit more to think about this so basically what happens in the hazardous resource extraction site is that when you drop in all the pirates come and so uh, you it's always full of pirates and they'll check you out while you're flying out to a distance from the center of about 17 18 kilometers or something like that because you mine in a band roughly 16 kilometers to 20 kilometers uh, it doesn't matter if you go under 16 but the lower that number the more chance you've got of encountering pirates but if you go over 20 kilometers you don't get the hazres bonus which i think here is well, it's about 75 percent or something like that so so quite a bit so Basically, our goal is to fill up the Python in less than 20 minutes with uh, 198 tons. And that's worth, I don't know, something around over 50, 50 million, 53 million, something like that. And um, uh, and then get out of there. Now, you generally get one, about one visit from the pirates each time you're there. And if it's just one pirate, you give him what he asks for. He asks, oh, give me nine tons of osmium or five tons of platinum or 20 tons of platinum is about the maximum. Sometimes it's like 523,219 credits worth of cargo. So you need to have a rough idea of the values. And I don't know what values they relate to, whether it's galactic averages or how much it's worth in the local system. So you might just want to check out those prices so you've got an idea. You're going to be collecting platinum and osmium. So you want to try and figure out how much a ton's worth. So you can do that quick calculation in your head. It's normally somewhere between 500,000 and a million credits worth they want. So million credits, it's about 50, 50k a ton. So it's going to be about 20 tons. So if they ask for like 750, I might give about 18 tons. And if they ask for 500, I give about... 12 tons just to be sure you've you've covered them um and once you've dumped it they'll go away happy now it's not a big deal because the rocks have as much as like 35 tons in them so while you're dumping that cargo you can get more than that while you're mining so you just lose a half a minute or something like that in terms of mining time so everybody's happy there. The pirate goes away with his cargo. You've still got yours. You're still making a fortune. And um, it's win-win. But the problem comes when the pirates come at you in a group. And it's happened to me several times. Probably about one in four visits. They come up to you at three at a time. But they're in some in wings. So you might see eight or nine pirates on you. You get like, the yellow marks on your, tr on your radar show that there's somebody there and one will ask for cargo first of all you give him him but the problem is while you're giving that one the cargo maybe two others are asking as well and you got your panel open to dump it so you can't actually see what they're um, what they're asking for so by the time you've closed the panel and given the one what he wanted you've missed how much the other ones wanted because you don't know you don't know what to dump so um, in that case if there's multiple pirates you have to make the decision um whether to leave or not so you could just like dump all your cargo and start again you, you should have enough limpets but if you're like more than halfway through the session say you, you know you carry about 200 tons so if you've got about 150 tons already probably just quicker to leave and go and sell it and then come back finish the next time but if you've only just started and you only got 30 tons you might as well give it all to them and, and start again so you have to make that de that decision but as long as you give them what they want and they'll never ask for more than what you've got so um everybody will be happy then if you're too slow to give them the cargo or you miss one and you don't give them what they want they start shooting you and in in this python 
uh, you got no choice but to leave. So just put your um, cargo scoop away, boost out, and uh, put your weapons away. And get your frame shift drive going. And if you are if you are taking fire after the first boost, drop a heat sink, and that should break the target lock and give you enough time to to get clear. I, mean, I haven't had any trouble. There's one time I like really messed up. I'll show you later in the in the video, and um, you know took took a bit of damage, but I got out safe enough. Um, and it's not cheap to not di not expensive to repair this Python, so you you don't really lose a lot, and you're making a lot of money anyway. So if you find a nearby place to sell it, you, you'd be making over a, over a hundred billion. I think it's possible. And uh, there is a station. Like, I'm going to show you where I am in a minute, but there is a station in this system. I might as well show you now. Be easier. So here's the galaxy map. This is where I am. There's there's several places you can come. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, Wolf 1548 and if you look on the system map here I am it's this first ringed planet uh, it, there's a has res right on the edge be careful because planet 5 has a has res as well don't go there there's no platinum so you come here and then right on the edge you see the has res go in there and, and that's where you do it now this station here um, does actually buy platinum at a good price but it depends whether somebody's already satisfied the the market so that that does keep changing so it might be always worth checking that and if if there's a demand there just go there and sell it because like you straight out sell it and back in again that's going to put you over well over 100 million an hour because you, you're getting i don't know 150 million an hour sort of while you're mining because then you've got to give up the time to sell it and um not not so good so yeah i'm getting it's taking me on average between 15 and 20 minutes to, to fill up. So if you say 7, 17 and a half minutes um, for 200 tonnes, you're going to do at least well, nearly four visits. So you look at 700 tonnes an hour, possible, something like that when you get angry. I'm not particularly efficient at the way I move things around. I do it in a, in a relaxed way. So uh, 700 tonnes an hour, and it's worth quarter of a million a ton on average so you you work it out whatever that comes to so i think it's about 150 million an hour is theoretically possible but you, i think if you get 100 million an hour overall you'd be doing quite well right so uh that's it in a nutshell so first we need to have a look at the the loadout right here's here's a loadout uh standard loadout for a, a mining python now uh cost you you need about 100 million to buy it um if you haven't got 100 million you can use a t6 and uh, a t6 only carries about i think it's about 100 tons you make about 22 25 billion a trip depending on the price so you could just do a few trips in that and then get the the python it's exactly the same um the the, the method and a t6 will work work okay Right, so I just want to show the, the, the key points. Um, you need to make sure you've got a 7A power distributor and good thrusters. You're going to need thrusters in case you have to escape, uh, escape interdictions, anything like that. You need a good frame shift drive to, because um, you, you've got to travel to the market and it's going to cut down your time on the bed of the jump. Don't need it. Don't need sensors. 60 is fine. Uh, You'll never need life support, hopefully. So, D for lightness, jump range. Now, on the uh, the main stuff, this 4A shield seems to work quite well. Uh, so, I've always got away with it. Uh, this is an important thing here. the Because you won't find that in some other guides. The, the 3C multi-limpet controller. That gives four limpets for a class three. So, and of class five only gives three. So it's a big advantage to have one of those. You can set it up for collectors. I'll show you in a minute. Um, so you want two two collectors. So we, we've got 10 limpet, collector limpets altogether, which seems to work nicely with this this loadout. So now this, um, you want a class two in this slot. And these ones are not normal class ones. What you need to do is have a look at my uh, previous video, uh, part two mining laser mining uh in elite dangerous and um 
about a third of the way through, I explain all about these lays. lays. You can have a look at that. Or you can have a look at the Elite Dangerous wiki and just type in pre-engineered mining laser and they'll tell you all about it, about it there. So the, the advantage of them is they only take half the power. And normally two class ones equals one, one class two. But because they only take half the power, um, four class ones use the same power as one class two but they have the mining power of two class twos so in effect you've got the mining power of three class twos but the power from the power distributor of only two and the problem with the the basic python is it's only got 6.1 uh, megawatts on the power distributor so if you look at a class two it takes three megawatts and so two of those and that that's it you might get away with one extra class one but you, you, your capacitor will run down but with these ones so it says it says um 1.5 megawatts but it's half of that so if you add up that three and six it's only three so with these three megawatts and these three it comes to six megawatts and you'll see that your your capacitor for your weapons never goes down with four pips to the the engine so you just mine away um really handy now if you don't want to go through the trouble of getting these it's not much trouble but generally you need to make uh, a trip first because you need osmium phosphorus rhenium and something else to take to the tech broker to to trade for the uh for each each one and you get that all when you're mining platinum so come out with a trip to maybe fit two, two class, uh, two lasers, first of all, do a couple of trips, save the osmium, because you need, uh, it's, I know it's 64 tons, 60, 32, 16 tons, I think it is, for each. You'll have to, have to look at the wiki, so don't quote me on this. 16 tons for each one, so 64 tons altogether, and you don't normally get that much in a single trip. So... Um, and the other problem is, yeah, you, you need to get them like one, one at a time, I think, because you can't go back to the res site with, with any osmium on board because the, the pirates will have you as soon as you go back. So one thing you can't do is go back there with, with cargo on board. So that, that's it for the lasers. So these, these um, pre-engineered mining lasers, they don't show us that here, but that's what I fitted. Um, they're the key key to it because... You're, you're mining at 50% faster with those. So the other two important things is the heat sink launcher, which you need to break target lock. Where if you have to do a like, sharp exit because somebody's shooting you because you didn't give them the cargo on time, you just boost out. And once you boost it, drop a heat sink and uh, that breaks the target lock and, and takes the fire off you for a bit. Mainly, it's not guaranteed, but it, it's, it's always worked for me. And the other thing you need is a point defense because they'll fire hatch breakers at you as well sometimes and you don't want them to get your cargo. So that point defense needs to be ideally underneath and at the back. I haven't checked exactly where that one is, but I'm pretty sure it's at the back. So as long as you're towards the back of the ship, it'll fire off the point defense at any hatch breakers coming in and protect you. Uh, so that's it from the point of view of the, the loadout. So just to summarize, use two 2D uh mining lasers if you haven't unlocked the other ones and then it's worth making the trip to to get to run to get one of the other mining lasers each each time you do a do a trip here and I, I reckon um now just to add to the story um the places where you get these might be permit locked which just complicates it a bit so you might have to do some missions to to get there or you could take a load of platinum and sell it. That might, I don't know how much you need to sell to get up to um, Allied. So I'd, I can't remember the exact names of the systems, but it's something like LTT49819 or something like that, where you can buy the lasers from, or you know, trade for the materials. And there's another one next to it, something like EGM55 five five something or other, 55. Five. 
no, I can't remember the number. But that faction that you need to get the um, uh, permit from is in the EGM 555, whatever it is. So you go there, do some missions for them, get the permit, and then go and get these lasers. So if you want a career in mining, you need these lasers. So just you've got to do it sooner or later. So you might as well do it sooner because all the time you've got them, you can use them and uh, get the advantage of them. So uh, that's the loadout. Sorry, I've gone on a bit, but you know I need to make it clear what it what it is exactly. Um, right, so we're, we're ready to go now. But before you go, uh, you want to make sure you've got your limpets. And uh, I'm taking 90 with me each time. There, there they are there. You get them from Advanced Maintenance uh, Restock. And if you're in Odyssey 4 or... or um, sorry, Horizons 4 or Odyssey, you get them with this symbol here and then this one, Purchase Limpets. So make sure you got... 90 works out that way. Going to dump some, but the, the, that'll um, that work. You know, it's better to have too many than not enough. So right, what I'm going to do is fly out there and then sh show you the routine, and you see what happens. Just before we go, I need to show you the uh, fire groups. So I have it over here. So what we do, we put all the collector limpets and the uh, lasers on trigger one, and the prospectors on trigger two. And that's it. So uh, when you come down to the multi limpet control at the bottom, we're not using the prospectors on that. We've actually got a prospector limpet controller, a separate one. And the reason you don't use the prospector limpets from the multi limpet controller one is C class. And the class of the limpet controller determines how much stuff you get from the rocks. So C class, you don't get as much as you do with an A class. So we got the A-class one further up there where it says to, to what, up you go, uh, where it says Prospector there, um, number two. So that's the class 3A Prospector Limpet controller, which which manages two, two Prospectors and use that one, not the multi limpet one. Also, I want to make it clear about rock depletion. When you mine the rocks, they're depleted. And I don't know how many hours it takes before they fill up again with platinum. Um, I think it's supposed to be two hours, but from my experience, certainly at Makua, it takes longer than that. So I, I didn't make it exactly clear in the, the next bit of the video, but but you need to, you're, you're going around in a big circle, like doing a lap, you know, at the same distance all the way around the center of the has res. So the idea, you probably get around about an eighth of a circle each trip. So each time you go, you need to go from the center in a slightly different direction. So I did say that you go towards the planet on the first one, away from the planet at the second one, at three o'clock to it, at the next one, at nine o'clock to the other one. And you've got to make sure that you're always the same way up. And I, I explain about orientation later, because otherwise, you think you're going to three o'clock, but if you're the other way up, it's actually the nine o'clock one. You go to the same place. So, um, it, I mean, you, you can make up your own way of thinking, but that, that, that's what I do. And by the time you've done four trips and had a break, the rocks are f filled up again and you can then repeat it. So you do four trips in a night, it's going to get you um, 200 million. And I think it's probably about as much as you, you, you can do in a night, um, unless you're real... Uh, hard nose. So that, that's rock depletion. That's why you go in different directions. And if you ever see rock depleted, what it normally means is you're you're going back over where you've been before. So you've you've rolled over and you're going back in the direction you came from. In which case, roll back and go the other way. Or it means that you've been there before and they haven't replenished. You know, you're just going around in a circle. So if you go go to 12 o'clock and then you go back to 12 o'clock and do the same again the next trip. But you'll be going over the same rocks and they'll be depleted, like half of them. So it's not worth it. That's why you have to go in different directions. Right, here we are coming to Hazardous Resource Exchange site. This is a bit weird because Odyssey doesn't always show the rings. Here they are coming now. So um, if you don't see any rings, just carry on and my magic they appear. 
It always seems to be dark here. You see, we're in the actual shadow part. But whatever, whether it's dark or not, always uh, put on your night vision, which you find in ship. That one there. That that'll help you see the rocks when you, when you get there. Just getting slowed down by the planet. Now, when we arrive, this um, we'll get a whole load of pirates come round us, and what the the first aim is is to fly out to that roughly 17 and a half kilometers which is halfway in the middle of the band it's not not exact as long as you belong six, beyond 16 unless 20 that'd be fine and the pirates will be trying to scan you as well while, while you're at it but um just uh, ignore them as, as long as you haven't got any cargo now i have to give you a word of warning that when you sell your platinum if you've got any full refinery bays that will get refined into cargo again so when you sell make sure that any that was in your refinery and has then been refined into cargo again is, is sold because if you come back here with a ton in the moment you drop out here the pirates will be after you now the first thing we need to do is find the planets because it's really dark here so and we can't see the rocks why not because i've got my night vision on something weird's going on no, it's not on. That's why, because I had it already on. Sorry. Right. Uh, so, the first thing you want to do, where we should be approximately where the spot is, find the planet like that. You can see it is in the distance there. So, the first visit, you want to boost towards it. Not so many pirates at the moment. It's variable. Sometimes it's full of them. Sometimes not so much. Just, just RNG. So, the first time you want to boost towards the planet, Second time you want to boost at uh, nine o'clock. Next time you want to boost away from it. And the fourth time you want to boost at uh, three o'clock. But the important thing is to know which way up you are as well. So I'm looking up in the sky. Can you see all that orange sky? I think that's mainly on one side. Does it go into the other? It just creeps into the other half. But in the other half, let's see if I can find it. Which is your, the best marker. If you can find it. There. See that, that red nebula? It's either in one half or the other. So that's that's in the... I'm just going vertically down. So... You can see... It's enough. So that... That red nebula must always be below me. Or in the half that's below me. Because the... The rocks make like a flat plane. So this this big orange... Blob in the sky there... Is a good, good help. So I'm going towards the... The planet... Now, might, you might see some depleted rocks because I was here a, a while ago. So, my distance is now 15, not quite enough. There's no pirates here. A bit quiet, they're all fighting behind us somewhere. So, we're ready to start them. So, so um, put 114 pips and... Deploy your cargo scoop, and now we're ready to go. So, if you look at the <clears throat> the Hazres marker on my mini radar, it's like right on the edge of the circle. That means it's to my left. And if I turn towards it, no, no. so this rock's got. Osmium and platinum, if the sum of those two numbers adds up to more than 25, uh, you're good to mine. Because you want to keep osmium as well. So, uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So, what the idea is to go around in a circle in that band, and it's very easy to move out of it. So, if you step over the 20 kilometers, you don't get the Hazres bonus. And if you go inside the 16, more chance of getting pirates. So we may get one visit, we may get none, we may get two. We we don't know yet. It's RNG. So our hope is that we can do the whole 15, 20 minutes without the pirates bothering us. Which does happen sometimes. Otherwise you have to give them what they ask for. But as I said, it's not a problem to give them what they want because you're going to get plenty more. You see how many tons we're getting out of this. Yeah, this first rock. It's not even a particularly good one. Like we haven't finished yet, and already. Oh, you want to have your inventory tab open in case the pirates come. So what do we get? Got about 20, 19, 20 tons there, just from the first rock. 
So we only need five rocks like that and we're done. So if you look at the, the dot on a mini radar now, it's gone slightly solid uh, and it's just moved off the edge. That means I'm going very slightly towards the marker. So that's only got, oh, it's 25. Yeah, it's just about worth it to add up to 25.16. So if that was less than 25, I wouldn't bother. So I can nearly see the marker through my windscreen if I had um, head look on. Oh, I think I can get it actually. Good night. Oop. It's not very well set up on this. No, I can't, can't quite do it. There's frames in the way anyway. Um, yeah, can, can nearly see it. 16.9 kilometers. So I don't want to carry on in this direction because I am actually going slightly towards the center. I need to like to turn away a bit for the next rock. So you want to try and keep two limpets on the go all the time. So one, and as you're flying towards the rock, that one up on the left is tempting there, but I am getting a bit closer, so I think I'll leave it. Mm, that one's just about mineable. So I'm gradually, if you look at that, the marker now on the mini radar, it's gone hollow, which means I'm going very slightly away, which is the direction I want to go. So generally speaking, we're looking for slow moving rocks or round ones. Round ones don't upset the, limp, the collector limpets too much. So 51%, that's not bad. So the only thing with this one, it's a bit irregular and I've got to watch where it's, where it's spinning. So what I'm going to do is go down this bottom corner where it's less likely to interfere with me. So remember that red nebula. What happens is when you're mining, it's very easy to roll the ship. And then what happens, you end up going back the way you came. So you need to, um, if any time you're not sure, just look for that red nebula and then put it underneath you. Put your link, always keep your ship level with the asteroid belt if you can. So, and use your uh, and, and sideways movement to get around rather than um, rolling. Oh, I'm a bit clumsy with this rock. You want to keep your nose nice and close so that the limpets collect up nice and efficiently. So you don't want to move away too quickly. The, um, the limpets must always have a line of sight to the, the fragments. Otherwise, they'll all crash into the rock and start expiring. So don't be too quick to move away from where you are. You can move around a bit to try and get a limpet on the next rock. But every single time, the widest part of the rock you've been that's sitting in front of you will move in front. See how it's trying to do it now? Here it comes. Here it comes. Will it get it? It's, it's by an absolute mystery. Actually, I got past it first. That's the... Oh, no. 19%. That's not enough. So, any time you can check your distance by detargeting the limpet. And looking on the bottom left, I'm 18 kilometers. So, I'm looking for my next one. With the, uh, the marker on the edge of the mini radar, I know I'm going uh, in the right direction. So just going slightly towards it here, but this one should be within the band. Thirty-four. That's okay. So if you look at that, I can see the marker through the window now. I'm right down to sixteen point four. So I need to turn away for the next next one. But it's not an exact rule. You can go down to 14 and, and never see a pirate. On the other hand, you can stay outside 17 and the pirates don't stop coming. So uh, it's just a probability thing. But I, I had a couple of bad runs, so it looks, it looks like they're being kind to me this time. But you never know. They can all come together or they're just out of the blue. So as soon as you see yellow on the radar, yellow markers, uh, it's pirates and they're going to be coming for you. Not not 100%, but most times. Drone. 
So when it's night time like this, it's difficult to judge whether the rocks are big and far away or small and near. So if you look to the periphery of your your screen, you'll see the, the faster ones moving, which are close to you. Uh, there's, there's one up there. I think I'm going to carry on in. Oh, this, that one's nice and stationary if I look at it. So what do we get that one? 25 and Ospium, so that, that's worth getting. So see how I sort of yaw round rather than, than um, pitch and roll. And if you want to speed up a bit, just just uh, take up your cargo uh, scoop and then you'll speed up and then redeploy it as you get close to the rock. If, if the rock's too far away, it saves a lot of time. Now, I'm, I'm normally fairly lazy, you know, can't be bothered to do it, but if you want to go for the best time, I, I reckon you could, a good, if you want to concentrate, you should get it down to 15 minutes a trip, which is, which is good, man. It gives you 15 minutes to sell it, and you'd be up in uh, well over 100 million an hour like that. Now, the market changes a bit, and um, sometimes you find good places to sell within 50 light years, so only a few minutes out there, sell, and a few minutes back again. Other times it drifts up to nearly 200. Yeah, there's yellow on the radar, can you see it? So they're flashing at the moment, but as soon as one of those becomes solid, probably a pirate's going to come. But, uh, there is, it's gone solid now. What was the other one that was? Can't quite see what's in that one. 14% is not enough. Let's try this one. So, oh, looks like that pirate's gone. So don't panic when they, when they come. They're very friendly. Just give them what they ask for. So, with the if you look at the Marker Mini Raider right now, it's almost behind me. So I'm going away from the um, the marker. So if I just check my distance, I'm 18.2. So I'm, I'm still all right. I don't know what I do with the limpets. I've always got the next one targeted. So you fire one, target it until it lands and you got the result. Then fire a second one, target that one, and go mine the first one if it's got platinum in it. Uh, it saves time because all the time you're mining while the limpet's in the air instead of um, instead of just sitting waiting for it to land. So the next one's got no platinum in it, so I won't be going to that rock go in a different direction. So for my next next rock, what I need to do, I'm, I've got the marker directly behind me, so I want to turn a right angle and go in that direction, and I'll stay 18 kilometres. That's that's my basic goal. So I can't see the rest of the band of rocks. I'm not too sure what way up I am at the moment, but I think I'm more or less level. So you need to get the hang of this practice, keeping level with the rocks, the plane of the rocks. You can see the limpets are pretty efficient in the way they keep that like, if you keep your nose close. So now I can see the plane of the rocks so I can level up with them again. So as I said, I want to get that thing on the side. Here's a rock coming up that looks nice. Whoop. It's going too much sideways. That one there. As you can see, the marker's now roughly on the edge of the of the mini radar, which means I'm going round in a circle that is if I did 19 kilometers in diameter 17 is not enough the material content in case you don't know is how much other stuff you get the engineering materials how much of that you get out of the rocks if you're new to mining it's not how much platinum you're going to get or anything the only thing you're interested in is the um, how much platinum and osmium's in there so that one there looks a possible one a bit slow to do that one because I was, I was thinking I'm getting close all the time now so I've got to be careful not to go too much in this direction so I'm looking to the right see if there's any rocks but I can't see any at the moment I've got a lot of platinum in so I'm going to take the top of it that way I can have a good look around at the other rocks while I'm mining but now, if you look at the, the marker, I'm now inside the, the um, 16 kilometres, and there's a pirate there. Oh, no, it's a miner. I can see his mining beam. 
but occasionally there's miners in there and off, sometimes the, uh, the pirates will go after them instead and then they'll come for you so as I said no need to panic and even when they come just give them what they ask for everybody be happy and then if you can't satisfy them again no need to panic just put your your things away and boost out of there so the the worst one comes when it's multiple pirates and you can't figure out who wants what so what I'm going to do at the end of the video I'm going to put a few pirate interaction events different ones I've cut out of other videos so you can see what it what it what it does sometimes you know I'm totally organized and get it all going other times uh, I, I'm, I mess up they can see uh, not quite the panic but I had uh, because of I was doing things I didn't have me panel ready on one of them so you, you always want to be able to see inventory like that so when you when you dump cargo you can go straight to it like this I'm going to dump some limpets so click on there and then however many you want to the pirates asking for go like that and then it's done but you need that panel open and at the time I messed up I'd been doing something else and I didn't have that open it was on some other one and by the time I I got there I had um, the 15 seconds had expired and the pirate was shooting me so that's 15 so I need to get out a bit there's a nice rock there it takes a bit of experience to know which rocks to, to mine but what you don't want is these big irregular shaped ones they knock the limpets off all over the place they trap the fragments and do other nasty things as well so um, yeah stick to the, the easier rocks and you can see that generally it's the smaller ones I go for but if it's a big one and it's like nice and stationary I'll, I'll do that as well because stationary is the best so it's like now I, I could still be that mining ship they had another marker next to it but that could be a fragment when when they knock out they knock out a fragment at a time they're not very good at mining so when you get um, a ship and a fragment it sometimes looks like two yellow markers if it's if it's flashing on the radar like that so this isn't, this isn't a good run because I'm, I'm wasting too much time talking instead of concentrating what I'm doing so that's got platinum in it normally I'd be gone by now so it's looking like we might get away with no pirates this time so whatever happens now I'm, I'm getting towards full so if one pirate came I'd probably give him what he wanted but if it's a group of them I wouldn't even negotiate I'll just scoot off now because if you look I've got uh, 120, 130, 150 tons and we, we only carry 198 and don't forget you can mine for 15 seconds while you're um, you know that's how much time the pirates give you so if you're on a good rock you know stay with it it's 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 part of the fun how long can you stay before you chick it out and you've got to go so I need to dump some more limpets now. So you get the hang of how many limpets you need to dump. Uh, if you want to make a rule, it's uh, slightly less than half each time. But you, you'll get the, the feel of that. So how far am I from the thing now? 70, so okay, that's okay. So I'm now going away. You, know, you always need to see on the mini radar which direction you're going and it, it you know like the first couple of times it's, you you might not be able to figure it out but after a bit you, f you figure out how it works I mean if, you, if you're clever you'll get it right first time so we're going too far away now that rock was for I thought it was smaller and nearer it's got six that's the maximum amount of platinum in it now if you go outside how far are we 19.5 oh, we're in by the looks of it hopefully it's not quite there yet but uh, if you go over the 20 kilometers and you've got almost 64 percent in it you're going to lose the hazardous bonus but it's still going to have a a load of platinum in it so instead of getting like 35 tons you might get 25 tons or 20 tons or something like that it's still a lot of platinum 
So you'll, you'll see it flashing up now how, how much it's getting. So the, the has res affects the number of fragments you get from it, not the um, uh, not the amount of... Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, each, each fragment's got 64% in. So it's, multiply that by the number. So we're probably going to fill up on this one. So I'm going to do all but a few, a couple of limpets. Just leave two. Because you see how, how, how quickly they come out of this rock. So that's full there. So um, I think we need to do one more rock. Yeah, we're full of kites. So we've got 192 tons, but normally I'd fill up the... Um, oh, we've got two limpets left. So, just for the sake of completeness. That's all yeah. There's a rock now. Yeah, that was outside the, the limit, that one. So I've got two limpets left to find some platinum. There's a nice little rock just down to my left. Let's take this one. These little ones. There's no, it, it doesn't affect how much, what the chance of platinum. It's just that they're easy to mine. Thirteen percent. Mm. Yeah, let's go for it. It's just a fill up. So I'm now out of uh, collectors. So all this is now going to fill up. So what you can do, this is platinum. So get rid of any osmium. And cargo holds fill. What's happening now is the refinery is filling up. So that's going to give me an extra one, two, three, four, five, six tons. Maybe depends how much is in this rock because. 13% isn't that much. You might just have a look at that other rock on the way just to get the last time if it's where we are. So I think I'm going to guess that this is about 22 minutes, but you can have a look back at the video when I started, when I finished. So that's that rock empty. And we haven't quite filled up the refinery. Ah, oh, that had 51% in. If I'd have done that, um, we'd have been there. So, no pirate visit this one. So, as I said, I'll, I'll show you the... Um, I'll show you the pirate visits uh, at the end of the video. Just make a compilation of them. So you can have a good laugh at that. But it'll give you an idea of what, what to do. There'll be no sound on it. No narration because I'm um, doing some other things at the same time. So I have to cut the sounds. So there you are. That's full up now. So I've got my 198 tons. So cargo hatch away. Weapons away. Boost out. Oop, wrong button. Yeah, I, I, every time I make a video, I've changed something. So I'm now playing in Odyssey, where I normally play on Horizons. And I've got my normal sticks, but Horizons deleted all my keybindings. I had to do them all again. And I did them in a more logical way than what I had before. And now I keep pressing the wrong button because of my muscle memory. So I just boost out there. And then uh, there, there is a tool you can use. Uh, have I got it open? Yeah, this one here. So... We're in Wolf 1548. So just type it in there and then click that platinum. And down here, all the places with a good price of platinum. So if we went to Anima, which is 100 light years away, uh, we're going to get 286,000 uh, um, credits for each tonne. And they need 1,358 tons. And that was 31 minutes ago. So we should be all right to go there. It's going to take, we got about 15, 16 light years jump. So seven or eight jumps to get there. So about 10 minutes. So 10 minutes there to sell the stuff, 10 minutes back again and carry on. And um, so I'll slow today, but let's say that'd be 40 minutes for 53 minutes. Uh, actually it's gonna be a bit higher than that 55 billion something like that and um uh so you know 
what's that about 75 million an hour then you know generally you want one with a big demand so if you want to be absolutely sure you could go to this one at 134 light years uh, they wanted 7,800 tons last time somebody checked so chance of them uh, not wanting any more is not high but if this number is like really low uh, probably not a good idea to go there because um, when you get there if somebody's unloaded a cutter they won't want any and then you've got to go somewhere else and waste a lot of time so this tool is egtools.cc stroke miner it's really sort of essential for miners it's got some uh, load of other things in there so you can never play with that. i'm not going to explain it um uh, not not for this video i've done it on other ones so um that's it in a nutshell uh is there anything else i can tell you uh yeah you you're probably going to get interdicted uh but this ship will always win the mini game you know as long as you can point it in the right direction so i, I would go for that and if you do get pulled out boost it's going to take you a long time for your frame shift drive to, to, to um, cool down but it's quite fast 350 nearly with boost so um, just boost immediately and always always fly when, when you're leaving and going to sell the stuff whoops always fly with um, two pips to systems and four to engines like that and that that way you're ready for if you get pulled out you immediately boost and with those four pips engines, you could best fill up again, so you'd be able to boost sooner. Uh, after the first boost, drop the heat sink, and then after heat sink, heat sink will last you 10 seconds. It'll, it'll deflect most of the fire. Then um, boost again, and just keep doing that. If you start taking fire again, drop another heat sink, and you should gradually pull away from whoever's chasing you. And the further you are away from them, the less damage you take from their fire. So. In the end, it becomes harmless. It's still landing. We're not doing anything to you. And then, after a minute or however long it takes for your frame shift to drive that to cool down, uh, get going again. So that that's what I would do. But you shouldn't lose the mini game. It's not that difficult to beat it in this, this ship. So um, I think that's it. We've done the limpets, done the ship build. Yeah. Oh yeah. There, there are some other places to go as well. So. I've also done this in Makua, M-A-C-U-A, and it's Planet 3. Planet, yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's Planet 3. And there's two Hazreses, and it's the one nearest the planet, right on the edge, like this one was, not the other one. The other one hasn't got platinum in it. Um, that... That worked quite well as well, but the planet in Mecca is uh, a bit further away from the star, so you waste more time travelling. Uh, well, as this one's quite close, so it's there. I might have a list. Let's have a look. What's this? Yeah, you you find this in Reddit if you go to elites uh, on Reddit, elite miners, or just type that into to to Google Reddit elite miners. There is, uh, if you can copy all that, what's up the top there, good luck to you. I, I couldn't remember any of that to type it in. But um, you, you have to look, there's a thread about mining platinum. Is that it there? No, no, I haven't got it. Open. Oh, it could be this one. Yeah, here it is, Reddit Elite Miners. And um, if you just fall, fall through, there's one about you find one about uh, mining in a Hazrez somewhere and all the places where I found this. But if I can, I'll post that link in the in the comments. And uh, you can see all these places. And there's some things like, so this HIP 43054, don't know what that star means. Uh, planet 4A, in, in, sorry, Planet 4, A ring is the inner ring. And at the has, you get 80% bonus. The average is 15.21. While as where we are, there's average, where is it? Uh, that's not it, that's not it. 
you can see some other ones. Green is is good. Well, I think this one, yeah, Wolf 454 here we are. The average is 22.7%, and they're saying it has up to 85%, but somebody else did it, and they only got an average of 10.37. And I, I found that in each visit, it does go up and down, but I, so I don't know what the average is. So I don't know how many that was based on, but it's, it's not bad here from other places I've tried. So I, I, would, I would stick to this one, I think. But if you want to have a go at some of the other ones, especially these green ones, that one there, that's, oh, it's not has, has res. You need to see has res written in there. So this one here, hit 52780, 20.5%, that's not bad. And 85% um, has res bonus. So what, what's that say? Rings with platinum HS on two planets in same system station in. Anyway, you, you can find out all about it by, by getting this document. So, as I said, I'll try and post the link if I remember. And, um, yeah, you can use that as you want. So, this works in any hazards. As you can see, this run was clean, no danger. And as you see it, the, the other ones, I, I am experienced, so I might make it look easier than it is. But at the same time, I'm not very organised. And so I mess up because of my lack of organisation. So I'm, no, I'm nothing special. If I can do it, then, then you can do it. So um, it, the, this is this is a lot of fun, a fun way of mining because you never know what's going to happen. You always look at your head, there's a pirate coming, oh, there's one, is it coming? Oh, he's coming closer, oh, he's going away again. You know, all, all these sort of things going through your head while you're mining instead of just sitting in front of boring rocks. And of course, you get a lot more platinum for your time. So that's the main thing. So you're making more money slightly more risk but when you got like everything is easy when you know how so i'm showing you how you just got to do it a little bit of practice you might mess up if you do and get blown up it's not the end of the world sounds like you've lost a lot but 15 minutes you're back here you fill up your python paid for many rebuys and you're back in profit again so yeah have a go at it and right now follows all the uh, pirate interactions and um I've clipped these up a whole load of videos while I was doing all my research and stuff like that. Uh, I, don't, I put hours and hours into this. Um, there'll be no commentary actually during the reaction, no sound at all, because I had music in the background. I'll get copyright strikes if I, I if I leave that in. So I've had to cut the sound in those things. But what I'll do for each one, I'll give a commentary at the beginning before it starts to tell you what's going to happen. Um, uh, just before I start that, I just want to say it's effectively the end of the video now. So if you've got any comments, put them in the, uh, you know, if you've got any questions or comments you want to make, put them in the, in the comments below. I always read them, always take interest. I always try and answer the questions. And if you want to give it a thumbs down, I'd really appreciate if you could say why. Because I, I do see some from time to time. I don't get many, but it often wonders but what the guy wasn't happy with is something he didn't understand, is it something I did wrong or whatever. But you never know, you just see the thumbs down. Could be that they're just haters, they, don't, they just want to dish out some hate. Uh, I doubt that's true, but you know, I don't know what it is. But So yeah, if you give thumbs down, please, please, just please give a comment. So all right, here comes the first one now. And what you're going to see is the pirates have already appeared on the radar. You see them as yellow spots. One came towards me and then he, he scanned me. But I was on the last rock, so... I've got 15 seconds to finish off, so I just carry on, and um, and I just get to full uh, when the time is timed out, and I boost away, and just as I'm boosting, you'll see the pirate turn red. I don't know whether he actually shot me or not, but that boost got me clear enough. He seemed to disappear off the radar quite quickly, and I just carried on, and I was gone, and I, I didn't have to worry about anything.
this next one is fairly typical that a, a group of per pirates sort of migrate across towards me. The first one I'll ask for some cargo. I give him what he wants. Um, not too sure whether he was happy with that or whether it was one of the other ones that started asking. But um, by the time I dumped that, they're all asking me for cargo. And you can see from the, the comms, it's not a too, at all clear who's asking for what. I was pretty well full, so I just decided to, to leave. I boosted out there, came under fire. One of them wasn't happy that I was leaving. I could see my shield starting to go down. You'll see I dropped a heat sink. The moment the heat sink was dropped, the, the, the fire disappeared um, because it detargeted me and the pirate couldn't land a shot after that. And um, by the time the heat sink was finished, I got my frame shift drive going and I, I was clear and on my way. This is the one where uh, I messed up with my panels because I'd been fiddling about with something or other. And um, not only that, the button didn't work. Uh, it's a little bit sticky and I couldn't scroll up. And um, by the time I dished out the cargo that the pirate wanted, it had timed out the 15 seconds. He'd already started shooting me. I don't know what ship it was, but he seemed to have some pretty serious fire. He took my shields down very, very quickly. And then I started to take damage. So I, I, I boosted away. And... If you look at the damage on my hull, the moment I dropped the heat sink, it all stopped. You still see a few sparks, but there's no further damage. And then um, I carried on boosting, and uh, a whole load of ball pirates came. They all started demanding, but I just carried on. I was on my way by that time. And um, then the heat sink wore off, and you start to see a bit more damage to my hull, so I dropped another one. And uh, then after I dropped that, same thing, you saw some sparks, but I didn't actually take any more damage. And then I was away with about 65% hull. If you look at it, I'm now within the 16 kilometer mark. So, and all up pirates. That's just a coincidence. Like, um, it's not an exact rule that you mustn't go over 16, but the, the more you go over it, the more chance you've got of encountering pirates. So it looks like they're coming for me. Let's hope they don't. Sometimes they fight for a bit and then they come. Other times they come straight away. Oops. Dashing the limpets on the rock. It's a bit irregular. Big lump in it. Yep, that's a pirate. So he's going to ask for something now. There's it two pirates. The other one looks like he's gone away. Carrying anything nice. So just carry on. 
Oh, he, wa oh, he wants 20 tons. That's a lot. Oops. Have your inventory ready. Cool. Come on. Button's not working. It's probably shooting me. Yeah, he's already shooting me. See if that, that satisfies him. Oh, yeah, I've given you the stuff. That's too slow, I think. Yep. Time to go. That heat sink. See it already. Heat sink seems to be doing something. Oops, four pips to engines, two to shields. As soon as I'm clear of mass lock. Another look, load of them coming. Weapons away. So that's another heat sink. And I live to tell the tale. This one's a nice easy one. This is this is how you want it to go. Pirate comes fairly near the beginning of my visit. He only asks for nine tons. I give it to him. He takes it and he's happy. He goes away. I carry on mining. And I think I went through the whole session right to the very end before the next lot came. And that might have been the one you just seen where I left at the end with more or less full. Along the 20. Yeah, here comes Pirate. So it's just looks like it's one at the moment. So I'm going to deal with him. And you can see what I do. So just carry on. He wants nine tons of cargo. So we'll give him some osmium. So he says, you'll need to give me more than that. And then he says, oh, that'll do nicely. Because he's happy. So that, that wasn't too painful. I mean, this 49% rock here, I'm going to get like 20 odd tons from it. 